first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so here in this mistake series video we will be seeing some of the mistakes that usually every student used to do at the beginning of learning aptitude for the competitive exams or even i have seen some students are making these kinds of mistakes in the competitive exam itself so these kinds of mistakes usually happen only because of the time pressure in their exams because student have to solve the question within 20 seconds or within 30 seconds so because of the time pressure i have seen many students or usually they used to do these kinds of silly mistakes on their exams that is especially on the mathematics so in order to avoid those kinds of mistake so this mistake series video will definitely help you to avoid such a mistakes in the upcoming competitive exams so don't forget to watch all the complete mistake series video so that it will be very very helpful if you are preparing for the competitive exams so and one more important thing so many students those who are asking all my videos all my feel free to learn videos in offline either it can be a pen drive mode or it can be sd card mode where you can get the pen drive and you can able to watch all my videos what i posted on my channel feel free to learn in offline so get the pen drive or get the sd card start learning for the upcoming competitive exams if you want any details how to purchase it whatsapp us so our team will contact you soon so thank you so much and now let me move on to the mistake series videos so friends in this video number 11 on the mistake series video so we are going to see one of the uh, important area that is on the square root where the beginners will make a mistake not experts so usually just i have taken some example question only the beginners will surely make this mistake not at all an experts so just see the number 2 square root of 4 right we have to multiply 2 into square root of 4 so what is the answer here so we can say 2 square root of 4 will be 2 right so the answer will be 4 Yes or no, right? Square root of 2, when we remove that square root, actual answer for square root of 4 will be 2. So already we have 2 here, so 2 into 2 will be 4. But in case if the question is 2 root of 2, I have seen most of the beginners, how they write this as square root of 4 and then they say the answer is 2. Is this right? No, it is wrong. What is the mistake that beginners used to do is they multiply 2 inside the square root and they say 2 into 2 will be 2 into 2 will be square root of 4 and they say the answer is 2. Is this right way to solve the question? No. So kindly beginners don't do this mistake. Just listen carefully 2 into square root of 2. Whenever a random number, right, it's a random number enter into a square root understood whenever a number any random number if it enter into a square root you have to square the random number first so 2 square will be 4 and then only you have to write inside the square root so it will be square root of 8 so friends understood or not right for example if it is 13 square root of 2 so what you need to do here if you bring this 13 towards inside this square root so you should not write as 13 into 2. So whenever a random number enters into a square root, first you have to square this random number, right? What is 13 square? 169. So only you have to write like this 169 into 2 will be square root of 338 understood or not right so hence this is the right way to write the numbers if you bring any random numbers into a square root so don't make this mistake i've seen most of the student three square root of two they say it is square root of six no it is actually wrong right if it is three square root of two what do you need to do so three square root root of two when you bring this three inside the square root random number first you have to square this three so square the three which is nine so you have to write as nine into two that is square root of 18 understood or not this is the right way to write these kinds of numbers so don't make this mistake definitely i hope experts will not make these kinds of mistakes so only the beginners so first time those who are learning quantitative aptitude for the competitive exams i have seen students making like this so don't make these mistakes in the exam so uh, while learning right while beginning stage itself try to rectify all these mistakes so thank you so much friends for watching this video bye